NKU men's basketball returned to the floor at the Bank of Kentucky Center on Sunday, facing number 16, West Virginia. NKU battled hard in the first half, bringing the Norse faithful to their feet when Daniel Gamp slammed home an alley-oop jam off an inbounds pass. Yeah, The Norse would keep pace with the Mountaineers in the first 20 minutes, trailing by three, 2017 at the break. In the second half, the Norse continued to battle, but West Virginia gradually pulled away, going on to defeat NKU 67-42. Chad Jackson led NKU with 12 points and was just one rebound shy of a double-double with nine. The first half, even though we were down three, that was our opportunity to have a uh, 8, 10, 12 point lead because we missed so many wide open looks, so many point blank opportunities because the second half you know they're going to go on a run and to have a lead of that would have been able to cushion or absorb some of it and still have you know be right there and that didn't happen. I don't think Wisconsin and Wisconsin when we played Wisconsin they just used their length they really weren't uh, looking to press us as much as West Virginia was uh, and Nebraska was a little bit the same way they kind of used their length uh, but West Virginia was just in your face uh, but I thought it was good for our team I thought like Anthony said we helped we uh, handled it well in the first half and uh, we just kind of let them get the best of us in the second half. Pretty awesome to be playing out there with everybody tuned in and knowing that we can, uh, we can play with the best teams in the country. It's just it's a great experience. The Norse return to action Sunday, December 14th at the Bank of Kentucky Center taking on UC Claremont. If you can't be there in person, the game will be carried live on ESPN3 with live stats available through nkunorse.com. As always, you can get live in-game updates on Twitter by following NKU Norse Game Day. For NKU Athletics, I'm Brad Pope.